74-year-old Iris Rose Barrias is the most recent casualty of COVID-19 in Belize. The elderly woman was rushed from the Belmopan Medical Center to the Carl Houston Memorial Hospital here in Belize City a week ago, where she remained intubated. According to Barrias's family, the matriarch, along with her husband, had been taken to the facility in Belmopan a few days earlier, unbeknownst to them that there was in fact a cluster of cases among members of the staff at that location. Seven days after being hospitalized in a rapidly deteriorating condition, the resident of Hope Creek has become the fifth person to die of COVID-19. She is also the oldest thus far to succumb to the dreaded disease. To exacerbate an already unfortunate situation, five other members of her family, including her husband, have also tested positive. On August 12th, when News 5 spoke with Dr. Javier Zuniga, Regional Health Manager at the Western Red Regional Hospital, he shared that there were five persons who were diagnosed with COVID-19, and Barrias was among them. Over the last week, we've had, um, as you all know, or, or you all are aware, uh, we had a little cluster at the Belmopan um, Medical Medical Center. Center. Um, so we have uh, three persons who have been uh, diagnosed with COVID from the uh, medical center. And uh, yesterday we also had one more positive case, which is also linked to that, um, to that first case, that center. And then the, the other case, which would be the fifth case. Um, so that's four from that medical center. And we have a fifth case, which is uh, not linked to that particular medical center, but uh, to San Pedro. So that's what we have. Yes, five people who are active uh, at the moment. This afternoon, Barrias' body arrived in her home village where it was interred under strict public health protocols. Those handling the casket, including the grave diggers, were all dressed in PPEs. The family was kept at bay and were only allowed to witness the burial from a distance. They assert that their parents had been taken to the private facility in Belmopan to avoid exposure to COVID-19 in the public health system. Little did they know that she would come into direct contact with the disease there. Registered pharmacist Elroy Franco, lab technician Jesser Leon are among the hospital staff that have also tested positive for COVID-19 at Belmopan Medical Center. At the time, this was what was shared. We have um, one person hospitalized at the moment. Uh, the person is stable and um, does uh, has been progressing um, positively. So uh, we do expect that that individual will recuperate soon and will be able to go home to, to complete uh, their quarantine. Uh, we are continue, um, we continue doing the active surveillance in terms of the contact tracing, which is very tedious. Um, when we have people moving around all over, um, all over, it becomes a hard to, to contact these individuals. So, um, we are also asking if uh, people know that they have been in contact with this medical center to please uh, contact us so that we can also um, reach out to do any type of active surveillance with these individuals. While there was a contact tracing exercise in the immediate aftermath of those results, there was an appeal to patients who may have come in contact with the hospital staff to come forward and get tested. We understand that four other members of Barrias' family who were swabbed have been cleared of the virus. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.